guys, Gold Cody here today in the 2018 Genesis G80, courtesy of Jack G and Volvo, Genesis in York, PA. And so let me first start this review by mentioning there is something called the Genesis Experience. Where basically, if you are interested in this 2018 Genesis, just simply call up your local Genesis dealership and they will actually take the car out to you so you can test drive it at your home. And when it comes time to get your car serviced, same deal. They will drive out to your house, pick up your Genesis, give you a loaner, and then drive it off when it's done. There are plenty more perks than that Genesis experience. That does come standard for the first three years of ownership. Just wanted to mention that. But besides that, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are two different engine setups for the 2018 G80. First one being a 3.8 liter that is going to come in either rear wheel drive, which is going to start at $41,750, or all wheel drive starting at $44,250. But again, there is one more engine setup, which is actually the one I have today. That is the five liter. And pricing for that one is going to start at $57,000 thousand dollars for the rear wheel drive and fifty nine thousand five hundred for the all wheel drive and so when it comes to those power plants the first one is going to be a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 311 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and 293 pound feet of torque available at 5,000 rpm again power is either going to be sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with manual shift mode for that manual shift mode you do have paddle shifters and so then mpgs on that one is going to come in at 19 city 27 highway with the rear wheel drive drive an 18 city 25 highway for the all-wheel drive and with that engine setup regular unleaded fuel is recommended and that is going to save you money but so for that other engine setup the one i have today is the five liter naturally aspirated v8 putting out 420 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 383 pound-feet of torque available at 5,000 RPM. And once again, rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive is offered and power is sent to the wheels through an eight-speed automatic with manual shift mode, again with paddle shifters, which I will be testing out a little bit. And so if you're curious about the miles per gallon on that one, that is gonna give you 15 city, 23 highway, but that five liter V8 is going to take premium unleaded fuel. And so another thing I should mention is directly behind the shifter, there is a little button labeled drive mode because you are gonna have the option to choose between four different drive modes, including eco, normal, sport, and snow. And basically what those driving modes are going to do is adjust things like the throttle response and the shift points. And so for example, I just put it in sport mode and it is letting the RPMs go pretty much right up to the red line when I have it in sport mode. Winding out the gears a little more, giving you a little better acceleration. So that's definitely nice if you wanna have some fun. And by the way, speaking of having some fun, let me test out the paddle shifters a little bit, see how quickly they react for us. There is a slight delay. They're not too bad. Not as bad actually as the Corvette I just drove, but there is a slight delay with the paddle shifters. But anyways, this is a luxury car, so paddle shifters honestly aren't really necessary. So just leave it in the automatic mode. I have a feeling this one is going to be fun. And I say I have a feeling because I believe it is time to do a quick little acceleration in this one. It most definitely pins you back in your seat. Very smooth delivery of power once again. Hyundai and Genesis tend to do that, which I love, but this thing will most definitely pin you back in your seat. Very quick acceleration. Another thing I want to mention is as far as ride quality goes, in Pennsylvania where I'm driving right now, we don't always have the best roads, but the Genesis definitely makes up for it because this one does have quite nice ride quality. I've hit plenty of bumps and this thing just coasts right over it compared to so many other cars that I've reviewed. This thing definitely has a smooth ride. And then when it comes to visibility, there is a giant rear window back there. I have no issues there. Also, there is a heads up display front and center in front of me here on the windshield and it does display safety features up there as well. So that's pretty nice. And honestly, a heads up display is a safety feature in itself because once again, you can better keep your eyes on the road. So that is very nice. And when it comes to road noise, this thing is very, very quiet. And Genesis, of course, has done plenty to accomplish that, including things like the acoustic laminated noise reducing glass, just to name one of them. But to sum it up, it is a very luxurious ride. And so, but anyways, enough of the driving dynamics. Let's check out the exterior. And so up front, there is that large front grille with the satin finish. Definitely looks good. And in case you guys are curious, that clear square within that front grille is actually the radar for the adaptive cruise control system on this one. And so that to the sides are our full LED headlights with dynamic bending, meaning when you're going around a curve at night, the lights are going to adjust based on the angle of the steering wheel, better illuminating what's around the corner so you don't go running into any deer or anything else. And by the way, when it comes to those headlights, of course, they are automatic. They do come with high beam assist. So if a car is coming in the opposite direction at night and you got your high 
high beams on, it's going to automatically switch off those high beams and then switch them back on when the traffic in the opposite direction is gone. Also up there, there are LED fog lights and LED daytime running lights as well. But then making your way to the side, there are dual power folding auto dimming side mirrors with integrated turn signals. And one of the coolest parts about this one is there are outside mirror approach lights as well with the Genesis logo. So you're going to be able to see that a lot better at night. But basically when you walk up to the vehicle, it's going to display the Genesis logo onto the ground, kind of like the pony projection in the Mustang, but definitely very high end, very nice look there. And then on the 2018 G80, there is also a lower door molding. And when it comes to the wheels, there is a slightly different setup for the 3.8 liter compared to 2017. For the five liter, you do have the same wheel setup, which is the ones you are looking at right now. But for the 3.8 liter, again, there's a slightly different 18 inch wheel design. And by the way, that five liter does come with 19 inch alloy wheels once again. Then making our way to the back, there are LED taillights back there to tie in with the LED headlights. And just below it all, there are quad exhaust tips. So as always, you guys, you know what's coming next. Here is that exhaust clip. Now, since we are around back, there is a hands-free smart trunk with auto open. There is also a power trunk lid back there. And when it comes time to close the trunk, there is a button on that trunk. So simply press that and walk away. And the trunk, of course, is going to close itself. That's always nice. But anyways, with the trunk open, trunk space is going to come in at 15.3 cubic feet. And there is a ski pass-through opening. If you wanted to fit a long, narrow object in that trunk, it does allow that object to go into the back seats a little for a little added space. But then make your way to those back seats. Rear seat legroom is going to come in in even 35 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had going on back there. And there is a power rear sunshade in the very back as well. And the cool thing about that rear sunshade is I just put the vehicle in reverse and that automatically lowered for me so I could better see out the back without me even having to manually lower that thing. So Genesis was looking out for me with that little safety feature. It's a small thing, but it's definitely worth mentioning. I thought that was pretty cool. And once I put the vehicle in park, that rear sunshade just jumped right back up there. There are manual side window rear sunshades back there as well if you wanted complete privacy. There are also rear reading LED lights back there and the LEDs continue inside the door handles as well and you don't see that on many vehicles. And as expected there is a center armrest with dual cup holders back there and on that center armrest there is the button for that rear sunshade as well as heated seat buttons as well. Yes the rear seats are heated definitely nice. And so, but anyways, making our way to the front seats, there is a 16-way power adjustable driver's seat, including power side bolsters, a cushion extender, and four-way lumbar with memory settings for up to two different drivers. And the passenger seat is also power adjustable. That one is actually 12-way power adjustable with power lumbar. And both front seats are going to be heated and ventilated. Then looking forward, there is a power tilt and telescoping leather wrap steering wheel. And it is a heated steering wheel in the all-wheel drive version, if you go with one of those. And when it comes to the startup, let me show you you guys the key first here there is the genesis logo on the one side then if you flip it over you do have lock unlock and that power rear hatch button as well but anyways it is all keyless access to so simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is located just above the driver's right knee and then upon startup there is a nice bluish purplish kind of hue to the cages so they definitely look good their tachometer is on the left speedometer is on the right and there is a digital display front and center giving you an absolute ton of information you can scroll through if you like and by the way to scroll through that information you are going to just simply use the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side and you do have the option to display a digital speedometer front and center which is what i would do it is also going to show you your average miles per gallon how long you've been driving for as well as how many miles you have left until you hit empty and there's some navigation information up there as well as some safety features like lane keep assist and attention alert and tire pressures for each individual tire and you of course can customize any of that if you didn't want the safety features you can always turn them off anyways let me move on to overall interior quality on this one because the fit and finish for the g80 is absolutely amazing up front there is dual zone climate control with the cabin air filter so if you have allergies it's going to help you out there also there is going to be a wireless phone charger just in front of the shifter there and another thing i first noticed when i got in this one is there is a microfiber headliner which i am loving definitely see those in high-end cars so it is very fitting on the g80 here and just above the glove box as well as on the doors there is a genuine matte finish wood trim definitely looks good and there's going to be aluminum door accents as well and one of the best parts a panoramic sunroof with tilt and one touch function meaning it is going to open with just one touch and that 
is letting in so much more light for this video. So I am definitely appreciative for that reason. Another thing I do like on this one is when it comes to the seats, the seams on the seats are vertical. So there's no awkward pressure points. That's definitely nice as well. But so anyways, when it comes to the tech, there is a 9.2 inch high definition LCD screen up there. And this one does come standard with navigation as well as Bluetooth and audio streaming. And when it comes to that tech, it is touchscreen. And the other option you have is there is a circular knob with buttons just behind the shifter there. So you can also control everything using that if you didn't want to finger up that front screen. So that's definitely nice. And if you were curious about the sound system, this one does come standard with a Lexicon 17 speaker surround sound system with Clarify restoration technology, which basically takes sound quality lost with digitally compressed music and helps restore the clarity of that compressed music. So anyways, let's see what's on the radio this morning and test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> I kind of either feel like I'm in the mob or at an orchestra, but either way, absolutely crystal clear clarity. Really didn't get the chance to test out the bass because that song had absolutely none of it, of course, but the clarity very, very well done on the G80. And then last thing I did want to mention is when you do put the vehicle in reverse, there is a reverse camera giving you actually a bunch of different angles and it will beep if you get too close to an object like it continues to do for me right now. But you also have different angles. You could choose to view the back right-hand corner, the back left-hand corner, or just straight behind you. And there is an aerial view as well. So you can see what is all around you on every single side. Absolutely crazy technology. I'm always a fan of that though. And as always, that is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, as well as a driver's knee airbag. In the back, there is latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also included is vehicle stability management, electronic stability control, and traction control. Also standard on this one is blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert and lane change assist, just so you don't go turning into the car next to you. And by the way, all these safety features are going to be standard. I should mention that also, there is automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection because nobody wants to run anybody over. Continuing on, there is something called driver attention alert. So it monitors your driving habits. And so then when you start weaving all over the place, it's going to recognize that possibly you're getting drowsy maybe at night. And it's then going to alert you with audible and visual warnings so you don't go falling asleep at the wheel. And again, like I had previously mentioned, there is that adaptive cruise control system. So the G80 is going to monitor your speed based on the vehicle in front of you, actually coming to a complete stop without you having to hit the brake when that is engaged. So once again, absolutely crazy technology. Also, there is an energy of absorbing steering column, hood buckle increases, and front and rear crumple zones. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on the stuff at the bottom of the screen right there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.